small town brev you cut my hand on the pop can Healed. Oh, that was, I think there's mold in there. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another episode of Small Town Reviews where I look at the public Google reviews of various businesses in small towns and then I make fun of people because they're idiots and that's the whole thing. <laughs> if you like today's video, go check out some of the other ones I made about it. But today we're gonna be looking at a very special, a brand new type of business on the show, adult stores. Adult stores are where you can go to buy very naughty adult reproductive themed things that are probably at a very overinflated price relative to the price you can probably pay from Amazon. By the way boys, I'm live on twitch.tv slash Gus Johnson all the G dang time, so why don't you go check it out right now. Heck, I'm probably opening Pokemon cards as we speak this very second on there. Come on by and say, hey, hey, hi there, howdy doody time, eh? Do, do one of those, guy. All right, enough mucking about. Let's read some of these Google reviews right now. So at this adult, can I say the S word? Se, se, sex, sex store. Rebecca gives the adult store one star and says, 9-11, flag not at half staff. Called, he said it was too heavy. What about the 343 firefighters climbing 110 flights of stairs? What about the lives lost? You have had 364 days to get it figured out. Who, why, Rebecca? Why are you dying on this hill, guy? Get over it. Here's a glowing review from Tandy that says, five stars, if I had more time. I don't really know what that means, Tandy. I'm sorry, we're all mortal on this planet, okay? Get used to it. Volt Dot says, four stars. I like buying my toy for my kids here. Recommend it. I don't like this, I don't like this situation. That's not good. Pedro, unfortunately, only gave this adult store one star and said, I bought a great vibrator for use. I recommend size African Pedro. <laughs> Luis actually seemed to be happy with his purchase and gave this place five stars and said this place is very helpful. Wife very happy with her new dildos. <laughs> Luis keeps you going, he keeps that pace going, you know? Melinda, another police customer here says five stars, no squids. A little, a little uh, gente stuff, you know, hey, whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do, Melinda, I ain't gonna judge it. That's actually Melinda Gates. I didn't censor this name. Hmm, weird. Uh, Bill? <laughs> so my main man, Jay, gives this next place four stars and says, love the amount of meat to choose from. I don't, you don't, you don't have to call it that. Please never do that again. <laughs> Carol, who is the name of every church lady in my town, says five stars for a Mormon town. It's great. There you go, Carol. <laughs> Jason says five stars. Love sniffing around. J oh, that's a pungent. It hung in the air. I get a fan going in here. I don't think you're supposed to just go smelling stuff there, guy. You can touch, but you cannot smell. John, a local guide, mind you, so this guy knows exactly what he's thinking all the time, says five stars. Great toys, girls, and videos and the arcade is worth the drive. They should name it Dildo World. <laughs> I think that's actually in Anaheim, right next to the uh, Angel Stadium, if I'm not mistaken. Elizabeth, uh, unfortunately, Elizabeth was a little bit chuffed, and she only gave this adult store one star, and she said, warning message to parents, please don't take your children here. It has adult products in it. Like, you, what did you think? It's on the sign. It's on the sign. Are you blind, lady? Judy, and I censored her name, but I assume that this is Dame Judy Dench here. Let's just go in it with the assumption. Says, one star. Never did care for this place. I don't go there. But here's the best part. The owner comes back in and gives the most, I don't know if it's intentional or if it's inadvertent, but the best fucking burn ever. And says, sorry you don't find things you like at our store, Judy. Most of your family shops here on occasion Maybe come with them as we always get new things. Have a nice day. <laughs> what? I need to know more backstory. Dame Judy, hit me up on the DM. Be warned, folks. This one is a bit of a novel, and it's from our local author, Matthew, here, who unfortunately was pretty peeved because he gave this place one star. Let's see what he has to say. Went in there. The owner, I think his name was Jackass, <laughs> was talking to a woman with her children standing next to her about how he had sex toys that this woman should look at before she leaves. He literally tells the woman in front of her children, why doesn't mama go back and take a look for sex toys? Did I say that he did this while st her children were standing next to her? Guy, huh? Then he proceeds to say that, oh what, mama does not openly talk about sex in front of her children? I could not believe this guy was saying this. The woman told her children to go out to the car. She proceeded to tell him that he was way 
out of line. And that she will never step foot in such a place again. So she left. I gotta interrupt you, Matthew. She's at a sex store with her kids in there. Did she not know the risks? So she left and I told the man that he was the biggest jackass that I have come in contact with in many, many years. I proceeded to tell him that his brain is the size of a peanut and that he must dot 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 surely eat his own feces. Okay. <laughs> He did not seem to mind my comments, he just stood there and grinned. I think he hears this a lot from people. This man is a true blue idiot. Why this place is still in business is nothing short of amazing. Matthew, you absolute fucking maniac. Go buy your products online, it's ten times cheaper, you weirdo McGee. Terry gives this next store two stars and says this store is actually a pretty cool place. Got a wide variety of stuff for sale, however, the owner is it dick. Pushy sales tactics, talking down to customers. Oh, and not to mention, he is a sex offender. <laughs> I don't like this store, Terry. I want to go home. Stormy feeling right down the middle of the three-star review and says, they push a certain political agenda. You're at the sex store, Stormy. Yeah, I don't even know the to tell. Wait, is this Stormy Daniels? So I usually censor the names on these, but I just, I had to leave this one blank. It's from Jane Fonda. <laughs> I, I hope it's the real Jane Fonda. Cause she says one star. While the service was impeccable and the products were acceptable, the place reeked of urine so badly that my eyes watered. <laughs> oh Jane, you American treasure. Chester, a local guide says two stars. They should be more discreet. You're in a sex store, Chester. What do you, what do you want the dongs to be covered guy? Aubrey, again, I'm assuming Aubrey Plaza with the one star review that says, Wish I could rate lower. Awful customer service. And the old chick who looks like she's never been late is rude as hell. Audrey, don't bring her into this shit. This next one's one of my favorites and it has a photo accompanying it. It's from a local guide named Cinny. And Cinny says one star, it smelled like potent fungus. And then it included this picture under the review. I don't know. What the fuck? Okay, minion ass. Do they sell that in store? Would you guys buy a minion fuck doll? Let me know in the com- Don't tell me in the comments. Please keep them clean. My main man Juan over here leaving four stars and says, I'm gonna head over there around noon. Any females want to meet up? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? There are easier way to pick up women. Also, if you just call them females anonymously online, they're not really gonna flock to you here, Juan. Candace is just being straightforward and I love her honesty. Five stars, I need a vibrator really bad, mine broke. I mean, what else is there to say about that? Trimmed all the fat, love you, Candace. Ryan, unfortunately, did not have a very good experience and said one star, the women working is a total butthole. <laughs> Is this a sixth grader? <laughs> I went in to go buy like some goddamn like horny goat weed or something. So Lee, I assume it's Lee Pace from The Hobbit and stuff, says five stars. They are very nice people. I'm wondering when they going to open back up to the public again. I need to get some poppers ASAP. <laughs> By the way, this sex store that I'm looking at, I, and I never tell the actual locations, but I looked in the reviews and like a third of them at least were like, yeah, this is a great spot to go get some poppers, dude. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Butchie, local love man legend says five stars putting the fire in your love life like womp there it is <laughs> call me butchie all right w i assume this is george bush uh says five stars i've never been inside but i like how the exterior looks and every neighborhood needs a spot like this to increase the sleaze factor it sounds negative but he's being so Thinking nice? I don't get it. Guys, buckle up. This next one is an absolute roller coaster because my main man, Austin, has given this place one star and says, I went there a few weeks ago and let me tell you, that underwear was some cute stuff until I sniffed them bad boys and I got a little dookie on my nose. Upon further investigation, I noticed a large skeet mark in the thin part of the thong where the anal, <laughs> the anal hole goes. I told the clerk at the counter who responded with taking the underwear and shooting shooting them at me like a rubber band, which stuck to my abnormally large forehead, using the turd as adhesive. Worst Kentucky Bell McChicken wrap I've ever eaten. I like you, Austin. Call me. Let's hang out, please. So this isn't really blowing up a spot of a store, because I saw a ton of stores all over the country where I was looking for these reviews that were called some semblance of Adam and Eve. You know, it's a super common, kind of like sexy little name thing. And at so many of these, I got so many comments that were the same kind of thing, just like Natalie says here with the one star there were no Bibles like I saw so many people being like this is not a Christian store be warned <laughs> do not go in here I love it nope said five stars my zone is very pleasure thank you nice lady this is why I say it every time I just get done having sex my zone is very pleasure 
Thank you, nice lady. Wait, never mind. Wait, 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 never mind. This is what I say whenever I have sex. Uh, five stars. So freaking win. Epic sex. Here's a little local drama, a little scuttlebutt that you should be aware of. Donna gives one star to this local sex establishment and says, only because my husband likes to run off and go here alone. Oh, Donna, what the heck? I'm sorry. And last but not least, boys, we got a one star review from Dusty who says, I was not informed that the butt plugs were used. Well, there you have it, folks. Go downtown, get yourself a little rusty dusty down here at the old dumpy shop. Uh, that's the video for you. If you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments. Check me out on Twitch. I'm opening cards right now, probably, you freaking weenie. Why don't you get the tooth take? Bye. Today's episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Listen, boys, do you want to be surfing the internet safely? Okay, I know you want to be Googling butt cheek pic, okay? Areola photograph. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do, you have to be doing it safely and securely, and you can do that with Express VPN. Listen, right now, if you just go into incognito mode and stuff, that's not gonna cut it, okay? Your internet service providers like Verizon and AT&T, they can still see what you're doing, and they can still sell your information to advertisers and anybody else. When you use Express VPN, all of your internet browsing will be routed through a safe, encrypted server that you have complete anonymity on the web with. Plus, if you use ExpressVPN as well, you can go ahead and access content from all sorts of different streaming services that are usually just only available in certain countries. You pretty much unlock the entire G-Dang world. Boys, do what you need to do right now to browse the web securely and go to expressvpn.com slash Gus Johnson. That's expressvpn.com slash Gus Johnson. You get three months free out of a full year plan. You can click that link in the description down below. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring today's episode. Get get out of my room. Get out, go away from here.